Welcome, opinionated family. We're here. Another Sunday. How's everybody doing? What's up? Psych now. I know straight radio voice. But we gotta so do, we gotta <laughs> I know. It's weird as fuck. fuck man. But it's we okay. gotta get we gotta All give right, them something. We just can't be coming in talking. Nobody knows about the conversation and shit. You know what I'm saying? We all yes. here. We all happy. We having a good time. And we're talking about today real good subject. Fuck all the radio shit. But it's talking about oh, marrying okay. into a family, dog. Get married and marry yourself into another family. Let's talk about it. And what goes along with that, you know, is yeah. a difficult thing. When you're bringing two different, when you're bringing two, two different families into a marriage is, is wild. Because when you meet your girl, it's like either you, like when I met my girl, my girl meet I met we met each other separately. I would meet her family separately. She would meet my family. Right. But our families never intertwined with each other. It was just that was at the beginning. The closer you get to marrying each other and getting together, now your families got to start meeting. Her mother meets your mother, her father, they follow your cousins. Like shit start intermingling. Right. Yeah. Some things is cool. Some some transitions are smooth as fuck. Yeah. But some is also that rocky fucking water. Is this 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 one cousin don't like this cousin? This brother don't like this aunt. This aunt doesn't like the mother. It's always something. As you is in the middle trying to keep this together, you're trying to navigate to make sure everybody's peaceful. Or who like yo? If we have a cookout today, listen, I'm gonna invite my moms. Yo, <laughs> yeah. Leave your mm -hmm. aunt. Leave I'm your aunt at home. This is really us. Who's coming? Yeah. Who's who, invited? Yeah. So yeah. That would be the first thing, it would be navigating the cultural differences between the family. That's a real thing. It, there is not necessarily cultural like oh Muslim white and black. But, yeah, there you go. Shit like that. That that that, that that's like the most we yes, gotta how we do because I got a lot of wife. Uh my uncle married a uh a, 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 a white woman. And at his wedding, she had her family, we had our family there. You can see when certain music was playing. Certain family members are saying it's, you know, stand still. <laughs> this music is playing certain fit. Like they wasn't used to some of the rowdiness. Maybe this family is used to the rowdiness. It was like, it was weird. You can see it. It was awkward. But when people's, a couple of drinks got the flow and people got a little bit looser. Yeah. People started talking like. Drinks bring everybody together. Yeah, drinks break yeah. everything. Or tear Absolutely. everybody apart. Especially at weddings. Or especially at weddings, <laughs> both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think you, if, if you start at the DJ, that's kind of where the things start getting a little, a little weird when you when you get the DJ because either they're playing the black music or they're playing the white music. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about black and white, and they music, uh, that's when you, your cousin starts you gotta play shit. it. <laughs> that one cousin, <laughs> that one cousin that. Mad about everything in the background. Here, this motherfucker, like, yo, chill. You gotta go up to him, like, yo, chill. Like, here, nah, you, let him, you let him cook. Listen. You let him cook. You let let him the cook. cousin cook. So, <laughs> like, like Dre, when when I remember, I hate to, I know, I always point you out, but I remember when you got married. After you got married, we had the uh the cookout. Mm -hmm. It was the picture we took me, you, Twan. Was else? Um, Chuck Nar, I think. Nar, Nar, yeah, yeah. Nar was there. Yeah, Tuck Nar. Yeah, um, and yeah. I forget who else. Yeah, but that was a family starting to blend. I mean, I'm pretty sure your the moms, both your your mother and your mother in law, they both met each other, or was that the first time? Yeah. No, we we we've been doing this. My wife, me and my wife were together maybe eight years before we got married. So all the family stuff been done. You know what I'm saying? Like the we it's I think that's the best way to do it, in all honesty. The best way to do it is to like test the waters out before then. You know what I mean? And we're very lucky, me and my wife, because we kind of have even temperaments, even with our family. Uh they're kind of alike in certain ways. So we don't really get the clash. We don't get the clash at all because you know, we all are very understanding and very like calm. Nobody's like talking shit. And if so, we check them. Like I'll because check. I'm telling tomorrow. you right now, it got to be a select few of a, of a man I bring around a family gathering with all of y'all because it ain't telling what nobody going to you know at that. any given fucking time. I don't see I because I can see where that comes <laughs> from. You know the different cultures because I, I I like you know my my fiance is white so when I go to her house and and I'm with her family for their functions, it's 
different than the functions that I go to when I'm with my family. And then when I'm bringing her over to stuff that we do, she, you know, at times it's, it's a little uncomfortable for her because it's new. It's something different. You know what I mean? And tell me more. It's like a culture shock. So, I mean, tell me more. I got a funny story. So I, when I was first living in when I was living in the apartments up in the pines down near Lindenwall, you know, uh, rumors was like a couple blocks away from my house. And when I got off, of, when I get off of work on the weekend, I used to like to go and grab food from there because the food at rumors is bomb as shit. Mm -hmm. So um, at the time, I didn't have a car and uh, she was my fiance then. But we were, you know, just dating. And I asked her to take me to go pick up some food for rumors. <laughs> so we get to rumors and this at this night it happened to be jumping i'm talking about people are everywhere they're all outside the insides packed Mind you, i'm just going in for some food so you can go to the door on the outside to pick up your food from the kitchen you don't have to go inside mm. so she parks up and i'm like yo just wait right here I'm, I'm gonna be right over there i'm just gonna pick up my food as i'm walking i see her i turn around i see her put her car in reverse right parks in reverse and then I'm looking at her and I see her lock her doors and she and her seat just goes all the way back like nobody's in that motherfucker. <laughs> so I get my food. I get my food. I come to the door. I try to open the door and it's locked. I'm like, babe, let me in. She looks up. She's like, oh, get in, get in. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? She was like, there's so many black people outside. I'm like, yeah, they partying. She was like, I understand that, but it looks it's like she thought it was going to be dangerous. I mean, it could have got dangerous. It's rumors. Don't get it wrong. Outside of rumors at any this given so time funny. when there's so many people out there. But I'm like, nah, yo, you good. Everybody having a good time because she's not used to being in a situation where it's a lot of people that look like us. And, I mean, you you know what rumors look like when, it, uh, when it's time. that It looks like it could get grimy at any moment, even for us. Oh, you yeah, go in there, we, you know, you nigga know, antennas go up. Yeah, Our nigga yeah, antennas right. go up easily. But, but okay. the situation was fucking hilarious. Let me because she I, wasn't used to being in a uh, uh, a scenario like that. But now she's in the scenario all the time. You know what I mean? It's a comfort factor of her having to get used to situations like that. Can I jump? What in? You about to say? Can I jump in? I do that too. <laughs> you, I come around a whole bunch of niggas. Hey, guess what? Doors locked, and I just sit right back. I'm just peeping everything. I'm listen. It is what it is. Y'all niggas are. It dangerous. is what it is. <laughs> Y'all niggas. Yeah, but, <laughs> I don't but, but I was in the wall that night and fucking rumors. Yeah. Niggas around me, bro. Y'all niggas but, are stupid. Hey, yo, I'm literally, I don't even see I'm literally like twenty feet from the car. It's it's funny watching the situation because. Like nobody's if you look if you're looking around like from our perspective we're why if you were watching we're watching it, you're looking at her and nobody's paying her no mind but she's paying so everybody mind you know what I mean so <laughs> you're like yo she's scared of shit I know she's scared over here let me hear her get this food but see but, the the antennas that that cultural difference right there like I would just joke it but your nigga antennas go up when you mm -hmm. get in a grimy situation but we as being around it our whole life is like yo. Don't get in the conversation too long. If dudes is arguing, move away you know from that. Maneuver. Move away from that yeah. area. Yeah, you know how to maneuver. This. Don't you step on nobody's toes. Don't bump nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. pardon me. You always hit niggas with some pardon me shit. What's up? Head nod. The nigga that's ice grilling you, get a nigga to head nod. You don't even say nothing to him. Just head nod the nigga that head nod you back. All right, cool. Yeah. He's not on that bullshit. We know that. It was like, all right, you mind your business, get your food, walk out. I guess with white people, like, they don't have that whole nigga in Tanago. They have the nigger in Tanago, but not the nigger. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> Can we call this episode nigger in Tanago? No. 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 I'm no, just saying. <laughs> no, we cannot. Hell no. <laughs> nigger in Yo, can I, can I add to that? That was funny, bro. Can I add to that? I'll just, and, I, and I'll step right back. Um, you know what I hate and what, what do got me a little funny about, about niggas? You ever, you ever, because I, I grew up when I walk past somebody, I say, What's up? Just, yeah. I don't know what it is. It's just how I grew up. Like, that's, it's, uh, you know, you walk past a lot of people. What kills me is the nigga that you walk past and you say, What's up? And he'd be like, I know you. That's no, I'm, on some say, I'm saying, What's up? He on some bullshit. That's, yeah, the, yeah, that's the motherfuckers you got to look out for. And they're going, yeah. I know you. Bro, like, would you? Isn't, you're not that nigga, you just my. 
that nigga used to my bad dog. Nah, I just and you just keep it pushing. Cause that nigga's one that's some bullshit. Fight. That nigga got a gun. Mm -hmm. He wanna fight, get shot. That's when your nigga antenna goes up, like, all right, this nigga on something. That's why I say the nigga that's ice grill in the club, you give him the head nah to make sure he cool. That nigga just look at you like on some weird shit, like, all right, that nigga's mad about something. Let me stay out of his area. Keep mm -hmm. my just go go do what I gotta do. And even then, you still you still watching this nigga like yeah. in your peripherals just right. to see the type of time he on because now you know, like you're like, man. I hope this nigga ain't on no shack. I keep my eye on him now because he won't be weird. But you know what I mean. But but I mean, even for me, like moving to Florida from Jersey and like living in the suburbs down there, and I'm in a predominantly white area, especially when rich. I used to work in Clearwater. And mm -hmm. I worked in a more affluent area, so a lot of the patients and stuff. Yeah, they like got buildings at hospitals named after them because they like donate that much money to the Jeez. to the hospital and shit and. It's real interesting how, like, you could tell that they've had, like, really minimal exposure to, like, a black woman Niggers. that looks like me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I come into work, I got braids and shit, I got faux locks. They're like, oh, my God, wow, they be confused. Mm -hmm. It's really crazy. Let me touch like, your hair. I'll get braids, and they'll come in Ugh. for a visit, and then the next time they come in... Like you got finger waves. Style, and they'll be like, what happened? "What happened to? Do she not work here no more?" And I'm like, "It's still me." Like, hey, yo, your whole <laughs> your whole here. character changed with the wigs switch, huh? It's yeah, just like, start speaking like, British. Like, yeah, oh, that'd be dope. Yeah, just hello. going in the character, like <laughs> going to Australia. So, nah, mate. But, so I know for a fact they don't know much about like our type of customs. You know, like just how we are. It's just a whole different ball game, like how we interact, our inside jokes as a culture and everything. So it definitely, you know, takes effort and you know everybody be open minded when you're trying to blend. Hell yeah, yeah. Like so that, that, so that that brings that's that's a good that's a go ahead, Dre. Oh no no, go ahead go ahead. I was just going to tell a old story. Just I, I was saying. No, tell a story. Tell a story. Well, I need to hear it. Not really a story. It's not really a story, but like um. Like even when I was younger, I tried to date an Indian girl, and it, it just it, or I couldn't even get past the first phone call. Couldn't get past the first phone yeah, call. Because Not because she did anything, because her dad picked up that phone and he was like, was "What? It? You want to speak to who? Fuck out of here!" Bang on me. So I knew but it that went anywhere from there. Yeah, because that you you got to establish like a a healthy boundary with the. Not the in laws, yeah, that your in laws, your yeah, future in laws, sure. but the people who you about to deal with. Because I think the first time I met my wife's girl, it was like the your wife's what? My mom, my wife's mom. I meant to say my yeah, bad, yeah, my bad. her say mother, her mother. But I call her, my, I call wish. her mom. That's my mom. I, 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 I treat her like my mother. She called me. She called me. She need anything, even if I don't want to do it, I'm going to do it, right? Because that's how I treat my mother. It's like. Anything my mom tells me she needs done, I don't feel like doing it. I'm going to do. It. Right. But the first time I mean, she was like super chill, asked me a question. It was her mom's best friend was on some other shit, like talking, like talking hella reckless to me in the crib. Talking, oh, niggas like you better not be on no bullshit. I fuck niggas up. And as he's talking this shit, this is at the time in my life where I always kept a knife in my pocket. Like this is that that era I'm still in. So he's talking shit. I just casually stick my hand in my pocket, halfway open my knife. Oh, it's a dude or a girl? It's a dude. It's a dude girl. <laughs> oh, okay. A what? All right, go ahead. Just keep he going. Was, I just wanted to get the picture. Okay, I, I was he confused. was, I was confused. He was a it's nigga. Okay. He was a rough nigga, but he was making a transition to a woman, but he was rough looking. You know who I'm talking about. Rough neck okay. nigga. The dark nigga that when well, this one shot it, this one when she lived in um in Lindewall. Okay. And the mother was still on yeah. a certain situation, okay, okay, but okay. the motherfucker yeah, yeah, she's yeah, hanging okay. with okay. was this rough looking uh -huh. nigga woman. <laughs> nigga okay. woman is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Like like the braids was in too long type nigga, shit. Like nigga woman is crazy. <laughs> but nah, she's <laughs> But like I don't know what I don't know what pronoun to use, so there's no pronoun. But she or he had the extension <laughs> braids or whatever, but them shits look like they've been left in too long. Right. So 
this person is talking wild reckless to me. This is the first time I'm meeting my girl's mother. The mom cool, but this nigga's doing all talking. Supposedly he, he considered himself to be, he said he's the uncle. But I'm looking at the situation like, all right, cool. Maybe your uncle, soon to be aunt, who knows? Oh, God. So I flick okay. my knife out. I flick my knife out to be like, look, I'm looking at Sade. She ain't saying nothing. So I said, cool. So that's why I say, yo, bro, it's none of that. You good. But ain't nothing happening. But I made it real clear. Ain't nothing happening to me. Oh, you? I said, no, I ain't tough. Just ain't nothing happening to me. You know what I'm saying? I got kids I got to go back to. Ain't nothing happening to me. Right. Chill the fuck out. I put my knife back. I click my knife back in my pocket. I said, All right, I'm good. But it's, you know what I'm saying? That was like the first like wild experience I had of when I met her, her, her dad, Cliff. Right. We were like kindred fucking spirits. Jokes. It was easy. Like I had, he came with jokes. I came right back with jokes. He's like, oh, I like this nigga. This nigga funny. I'm like, yeah, you're not going to joke on me and I'm not going to joke on you. So it made it real easy. Like when our family started, when our families, yeah, when our family started blending with the in-laws, Cliff, everybody. When Stacey shot their dad, it's drinks, it's jokes. They kind of knew each other because they we all grew up around the same area. So they knew they knew the same people. It's always a good time. They see him. My mom calls. She calls Cliff every time she sees him. She calls him Curtis Blow because he looks like Curtis Blow. Uh, <laughs> like she loves Cliff to death. She's like he, she all like we was just on a vacation. She's like you gotta bring your dad. We gonna have a good time. He'll be my he'll be my drinking buddy. We be drinking all day. You know what I'm saying? They just gonna hang out and chill because she all oh, every dates, time because I'm coming and I'm hanging out with yeah. them. Fuck everybody. Else. Exactly. Cause she know <laughs> every time Cliff, every time Cliff come around, they be my mom and him. They sit down. They get a bottle somewhere. Talking shit, liquor. The families is cool. <laughs> I can't say everybody family like my ex wife family. I was I was just going to ask you about that, and I didn't know if you wanted me to talk about that, bro, because that's that's when Ooh. setting boundaries became a real fucking yeah thing. Do you care to yep. speak on that? Because I felt like there was no boundaries on their end. It was, was no. no they they I don't came know nothing about this. They came talking. Oh, he'll tell you. They, they was they talk reckless. Mm -hmm. Mouth is just out of pocket, and I'm like, hold up, relax, relax. Like, yeah, you see my mom laughing. You see my brothers laughing. You see a few of my cousins laughing. Because that's how we are. It's always good energy. But that nigga over there is a killer. Pretty sure that nigga got a body. My mom is quick to cut or pull a knife out on anybody. Just because you see the smiles and the joke. And you're, they used to, you remember, they used to say like little slick shit that they thought nobody would pick up on. Like my mom was like, yo, is she having something at her sister's house? I don't really don't feel like going. I'm not going to go. Like, it was like, yeah. She was like, all right. Like, I got along with my brother in law, Keith, at the time, still my man to this day. Mm -hmm. That's the only time after a while, like, she would he go to my ex. Yeah, yeah, he got the fuck about <laughs> after a while. Like, I wouldn't go around my ex family. Like, she's like, going to my sister's house. All right, cool. I'm staying at the crib. You don't, no, nah, I don't fucking go. I don't like these motherfuckers. They don't like me. I know that for a fact. Half of them really don't fuck with my family. They talk shit. They 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 slick with the mouth. Like it's just a bad experience all the way around. Like I don't like. Now you want to bark? <laughs> you got but, something to say about that shit too? Yeah, but I'm saying it was just bad all the way around. Like at, like you was in a relationship with Jay. Did y'all ever your first baby dad? Did y'all family ever like intertwine? Like y'all had to because y'all had a kid together. Perfect Cue point. the zoom in on her <laughs> face. Cue the zoom in. Because we, yeah. we kind of like, I guess you would say intertwine. Like they all know who each other are. And there were, uh, you know, certain occasions where, you know, everyone would get together. But it wasn't really nothing too much on a consistent basis where we had to worry about if people were like getting uh, along with each other or not. Um, their side of the family, like they're not super close. So they don't spend tons of time together. They don't do like every single holiday together. They're making plans to do stuff necessarily. They're kind of just see you or talk to you whenever type of family. Wow. My family, obviously, as you know, we do it holidays. We doing all of that. So ended up being like him getting assimilated in more with my family on holidays and all these events and stuff like that. And occasionally his family would like come around. Damn. So you ain't. So, you, did you fuck with your in-laws though? No. Well, not no. You no. didn't like his mother or father. 
Well, his mom uh, passed away when he was young, so I never met her. But his dad, his dad, you know, it's just that cultural difference, too, because, you know, he's not black. So uh -huh. he was adopted and then his adoptive family's white. So it's very different from my culture uh -huh. and just how I am. So it was definitely a disconnect with that. And his dad was like, you know, older as well, too, like when he, he was already older when he got adopted. So his dad was already probably, I don't know, in his 70s, early 70s and stuff Jesus around Christ. that time. And <clears throat> late 60s. And um, he was in like Vietnam War. So he was like a hardcore yeah. veteran. So his viewpoint exactly kind of, you know, pro-American veteran <clears throat> back in those times being in the war. And um, the area he's from the Midwest <clears throat> where it's not a lot of black people around. So there is definitely yeah. a barrier with our relationship. I think with that as well, just culturally you to have that type of like understanding to bond. So should it was definitely um, a weird interaction, but I didn't really spend too much time with them, but we didn't, we didn't get along though. You should have set a firecracker off. Every time that nigga pissed you off, you should just set a firecracker off and let that nigga have shell shock. <laughs> <laughs> Ignite his PTSD. PTSD. That's crazy. Yeah, wow. Get down, they're shooting. <laughs> he ever say anything that kind of crossed the line with you? His dad? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. his dad don't give a fuck. His he dad said that is, well, yeah, we've gotten into it. We've gotten into he heated disagreements. Yeah. I've gotten into heated disagreements with his sister. Jesus. I, yeah. Jesus. That was also back at the same time. That was also back in a time where I really didn't give a fuck. I mean, I don't give a fuck now, but I'm much more. I was going to say. Like, you know, I think before I act, but back then I really just didn't give a fuck. I like, just I'm, acted. And then I thought about my I, actions. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And my thoughts so, were like, mm, I did what I wanted to do. At the moment. And, <laughs> yeah, I, and I was saying. content. And I slept well at night. And that's just how I was for a while. <laughs> you know you, what I'm saying? As you, as you should. So I have to accept my role in the, in the part of us not meshing well together. It's not like I was an angel and. They were just so mean and mistreating me. It was it was mutual. I think it was just a lot of barriers that we had that uh, we weren't communicating effectively. Yeah, but it was uncomfortable. That's definitely, mm. to say the least. And when you got to be around them too, especially when y'all don't like each other, but you want to try to keep the peace to like have a family, it's, that's not it. Like yeah. people really need to yeah. blend. Like that's the key thing because people stop showing up to stuff. People not getting along and be drama and arguments and it just be added stress and strain for no reason. Kev, your family? Shit. Huh? Let's talk about Kev meeting his family. Your in-laws. Um, they're very welcoming. I mean, um, my fiance's father just passed a few months ago. God rest his soul. He was a uh, yeah, he was a uh, a great dude. I mean, um, they welcomed me in. Uh, we talked. Our mom was, is always cooking, always trying to feed me. Um, they help us with stuff. You know, they they were they were the epitome of great parents to her, and um, still is. You know, um, there really isn't nothing bad I could say about them. They don't. They try to make everything as, as possible regardless of the situation and scenario um and i really haven't like had to deal with anything like that with them along the, along any type of lines great people um they want to meet my family uh because we'll be getting married soon so we'll be having like a big family dinner soon my parents want to meet her parents yeah. um and i mean i really don't it's just differences, you know, like it's it's always going to be cultural differences between uh, my family and her family. We just do things differently. And that's understandable. I mean, <clears throat> we lived in different type of scenarios. You know, my family is from Philly, you know, born and raised. And my and my parents came out here. My father and, and my aunt and uncle and my grandparents, they came out here. My dad was like 17. My dad was almost an adult when he moved to Jersey. So he was a Philly. He's always been a Philly kid. And my aunt and uncle were the same. They were uh my my aunt was in her early teens and my uncle was in his mid teens. And um, you know, 
they were first raised in the struggle and made it out the hood to, I like to say country life. Cause I mean, this ain't really the suburbs where we lived at. We was, it was like the country when we was growing up houses, you only had a couple houses close to you. You walked down a little further. That wasn't like the Ville. The Ville was like the suburbs to us and we was like the country, but um, it's, it was just different, you know, uh, things that we watched, stuff that were interested politics all the way down the my all the way down the down the line it was it's just totally different culture but i mean yeah. it's, it does the love doesn't change you know what i mean like they show a, uh yeah, yeah, I think a great cool. amount you of love mute, mute that nigga's yeah. mic because you're choking yeah, him man. out yeah, we're not even hitting the we the we not even lit. That's what's crazy. You know I'm what I'm saying? Still, I don't smoke weed. I but, don't smoke. Yeah. God damn, I don't smoke. He about to be That's high another as cultural hell. difference. Yeah. yeah. But, That's but, a cultural okay. difference right there. You smoke, I don't smoke. Now, now here go the next thing. The conflict between the families. Okay. Now I'm gonna light it. Let's how do y'all handle conflict between either like your wife and one of your cousins? I, like I think I think it comes down to respect. I, I'm sorry to jump the gun. It comes right. down to respect and and the, the respect that you, I ain't going to say command from your family, but like in all of our families, we're the people that, you know, like somebody's going to respect what you say. Like I'm the, I'm the oldest grandson. You know what I'm saying? Same Sounds here. like nothing, but it does mean something. Same um, child in my yeah. family, when the order you born, that shit hold a lot of weight. Yeah. But, but that's what I'm saying. Like it's it's a different. And I'm the youngest out of a lot, so yeah. that should be mad frustrating because it yeah, could be a cousin and they five that, years well. older than me. They could I I can't but <laughs> say but so much to them. Yeah. You know I, what I mean? It's weird. It. I got it. I got it. But you respect them though. It's a, it's yeah. a difference. So if you tell if you with me, I'm so cool and I'm usually joking. But if I have to, you know, not that I've done this to any of my cousins or any of my. If I have to say something to you, it has to be said. And the person will see that and say, oh, shit, I must be acting like an asshole. If he told me, I'm mm-hmm. definitely acting like an asshole. You want, you want a funny story? Yeah. One of my, my brother, Rain, <laughs> I love him to death. This is my brother. I, even though we cousins, my brother. They had they had, had a disagreement. This nigga came to my crib one day. Nutter was here. He said, I'm going to cuss these bitches out, cuz. <laughs> Talk about my girl and Nutter. I just yeah. looked at him. I said, go ahead. <laughs> I sat on the couch. <laughs> Weren't we there? We was there. I was there, yeah. You was there when that happened too? I believe so, yes. He thought he was going to go in that kitchen and yes. snap. I said, oh, okay, go ahead. As long as you don't put your hands on him, we good. Go go do your, go handle your handle. Went the fuck in there, proceeded to get cussed the fuck out. Really? I guess he thought I was going to go check my girl for the shit. Nah, you came in here. No, you <laughs> You wanted that energy. Yeah, you got That's it. You there shit, there. where you don't shit where you eat. Like, never mind. Nah. You don't shit where you nah, eat. It's cool. And if you shit where you eat, I'm gonna let you take that bomb. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> see, like, see, I, if I knew my girl was like the the like the the like the the timid type and all that shit, then I would have stopped him. Like, nah, whatever issue you got, where you want to address right. the shit with me, because she ain't she on that type of energy. I knew the energy, energy. Yeah, she had my type of energy. You gonna get cussed the fuck out? And she and had a sidekick with her right in. next to me. Yeah, exactly. Right here. And he wasn't gonna come like, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Me, that is a bulldog when it comes to shit like that. I'd never be looking. Her ears are open. The sonar said, is yeah. out, and she's listening for shit to pop off, so she could be the one to, to involve herself. Like, hold up, hold up, hold up. You hear her come around the corner, like oh, that shit, shit it was is. so funny. I said, yeah. "Go ahead." I know, I, I know, my cousin ain't gonna hit him. I know he pissed. I'm like, "All right, I love you, but I love her too." You want that energy? She gonna give it to you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Go get it. I'm here go to watch. Go so get. I go get it. Like just don't. Just I'm that's just it. Sure don't just don't go get over. physical. But he he don't. He, he my brother, so he's not gonna do anything like yeah. oh, too overboard. But he's going to fucking. I know. So he was going to snap. I said, bro. He was just trying to stand. Yeah. It so was I, like uh, there's no uh, stand uh, to uh, take. Yeah. So I said, go. I said, go get it. <laughs> but it's it's been instances like yo. It's been certain times where it's like yo. I had to like interject myself, and I have family members like. Be pissed off that I may took my girl's side, but I'm like, you know what? Well, at the end of the fucking day, I see her a lot more yeah. than I see you. A, we got kids together. B, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to make this shit work. Like, I can't always side with you, especially if you're fucking wrong. If you're fucking whoever, if you're wrong, you're wrong. You get what I'm saying? If you're wrong, you're wrong. I, you're yeah, and, yeah. With, and even with that, even with that, like. 
I'm not going to embarrass. If there's a situation and my fiance is wrong, I'm not going to embarrass her about the her being wrong in the situation. I'm going to pull it to the side, let her know, like, yo, that ain't that ain't right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to make sure I defuse the situation. But when it's wrong, it's wrong. And whoever's wrong, you gotta express that that person is wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I don't. It ain't about taking sides. At the end of the day, it's about what's right and what's wrong. If I'm if I'm taking her side, it must be it must be because I feel like what she's saying is correct in this situation at the time. You know what I mean? And and I'm gonna have her back because this is me and her. You know what I mean? We 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 live together, we pay bills, we influence each other's lives cool. more than you know me and you at the time. And if you're right about a situation, I'm gonna tell her that you're right about a situation, and that's that. You know what I mean? That whole pick and size shit shouldn't even it shouldn't even be about that. You know what I mean? It's a point of view of how people see things, it's not necessarily you just do it saying it just so you can make her feel better about herself. And if a person's doing that, then they just dickheads. Well, I seen. I, I, Let me ask you a question. What's up? Off the back of that. <sighs> off the back of that, right? What if you're, and give me a chance to explain, because I think y'all going to get it after a while. What if the person you're with is considered to be an asshole? I, that's what I, but that's what I was about to say. Like, most of the time when this shit gets triggered and off like that, it's not people that's being like, level-headed or respectful this is this people that's really coming on some petty shit whether if it's gossiping being messy spreading rumors talking shit about you know people behind their back mm -hmm. or maybe they're not supportive of your relationship i mean it's a lot of different factors that it could be but sometimes it gets to the situation where people just really just don't get along and it comes to a head and yeah. you might not want to pick a side but Again, it, sometimes it boils down to certain people not showing up to certain holidays or certain events if other people are going to be there because they don't want to be around a person or I maybe they don't want to bring controversy. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm. I don't. I don't. I'm not. I don't not go somewhere because somebody else that I don't talk to is going to be there. If anything, I'm gonna show up. <laughs> I mean, See, that's I'm petty just me. Like that. That's there's that's the petty side of me. I'm, like, I'm petty like they're like, that. oh, Let you know, such and such like gonna be there, and I'm like, like I don't care. I'm, or they, I'm gonna or be they there. might How not be that? invited to something because my family don't be inviting me to shit. I be finding stuff out <laughs> as a third party. Mm. I say, don't act because I be cussing them out. Don't they act. Don't, they don't want me to come around because I be I be speaking the truth. Don't act surprised though. That's that's what I'm a big believer in. Don't act surprised when a motherfucker like yo, oh why why they why why Jimmy ain't here. You know why the fuck Jimmy? You don't like Jimmy, right? The fuck is you talking you about why Jimmy? Right. You know that. So you don't like trying. this nigga. Yeah. The fuck is you talking you about? You don't like this nigga. Yeah. I can't invite like. I don't think, and that's mm -hmm. a, that's one of the good thing. Like I may, I don't know, but for Jimmy the most don't part, ever come. But the, for the most part, like I can, I, I can say that it ain't. Ain't too many people in my family. My girl don't get on. She may not like him, but they get along. They they might they might get on their, her nerves. Her family, I ain't really got no heard nobody like that because I really don't. I'm the type of nigga like if I don't fuck with you, you gonna know from the rip. I'm gonna tell you straight to your fucking face. I don't fuck with you. Hey y'all, y'all seen me do that plenty of times. I'll <laughs> let you know straight up from the rip. I don't fuck with you. Let's not do this old fake shit. Stay where the fuck you at. I stay where the fuck I'm at. I'm gonna drink. Let's both enjoy ourselves today. We don't gotta speak. Very simple. I don't fuck with you. Let it be known. You drink over there, I drink over here, we good. Enjoy our time, laugh and joke, have a great fucking time. I don't fuck mm, with you. Mm. Oh, come I, got on, two, man. I got two things to say specifically say about you. What's up? Say it. You get drunk, uh huh, and that other person gets drunk. You're talking to other people about that person in front of that person, uh -huh. and, Loud. Then, and then be like, Loud. I don't like. This nigga, yeah. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. he don't even, he'll, yo, he'll even, he won't even do that. He'll be like, he'll say some shit out loud, and and somebody be like, yo, chill, Kevin. He'll be like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I don't care if he hear me or not. He know who I'm talking about. Looking like, directly at him. Yeah, yeah. That's what or I'm about to say. he makes it a fucking announcement, so like, everybody knows. This, this is my house. Matter of fact, yes. nigga got to the count of ten. To leave my yard. Nigga, How about who that? Sneakers gotta get the fuck out. <laughs> hey, Yo, nigga, Jimmy, here, nigga. If I say if I say that, then I got a real problem with you. I'm trying to get something. I want we gotta fight. 
But for the most part, <laughs> yo, that no, nah, that dude in the backyard ain't do shit, bro. I'm sorry. He ain't do nothing. He ain't do nothing to you. He ain't do shit. Was to you, bro. you was aggravated with the women who came. I don't hit women. Because he came with the women <laughs> that were in your family. They were your family members, and you got mad at them, women. and they were like, you was like, I got you know what? I'm going to knock the nigga you came out here with. How about that? How about y'all get the fuck out of here and leave, take the nigga you came with, and if you don't get out of here, son, nigga was like, look at me and Dre like, I think he talk about me. <laughs> I think he is, bro. <laughs> I'm going to get on up out of here. Dre going to be like, yeah, that's a smart move. That's your best bet. I don't hit women, part. dog. I don't hit women. Like, I, that's what I'm saying. Joe, like, why is Kaz doing this to this nigga? This nigga <laughs> is an innocent bystander. Like, if ripping. He even if, introduced himself. Hello, hi, hi fellas. My name is. Let me explain why I'm like that. And shit. But let me explain why I'm like that. Let me explain. Like, if my girl was getting out of pocket with a fucking dude, I'd be like, "Yo, I don't feel like." I'm like, "Yo, chill." Like, I told chill. And if she say you disrespected her, then you go ahead. But if you out of line for you just spazzing and you being fucking out of pocket for no reason, yo, chill. You're not going to be fighting. I'm going to be fighting. Let's get this straight. I'm going to be fighting. So if I don't check you to make you chill, to defuse this situation, I'm fighting. I'm fighting. Win, lose, or draw, I'm fighting. You know what I'm saying? I got to Ain't I might get my ass whipped. It's plenty of times I looked at a nigga and I'm like, I'm about to get fucked up. And I got no choice but to fight. I got no choice but to fight. But I'm I am definitely losing this fucking fight. I've been in them situations. I just knuckled the fuck up, like, all right, let's take this L. <laughs> Let me go about my day. I knew it was coming. Take I knew the L, L was coming. I, I knew the L was I knew the L was coming. For certain, I knew the L was coming. Hey yo, Dre, remember when Kev said to the to the female. I'm knocking out whoever you came with. I'm knocking out. You, he was. I'm knocking your dude out, and the dude said, "Uh, he's like that. That's not my girlfriend. I just gave him a ride." <laughs> he remember he, he distinctly <laughs> said. He said he distinctly said. Yeah, I, I told him. I'm just I told, a ride. And he's like they not. With, and I they're told, not with me. They just like I'm with them technically. But I, and, <laughs> I said, and then I told yo, my you, cousin that same. Bro. Hopping, please, he was like hold up, bro. He was honorable. But this I piss off out of here. This I piss off. I told my cousin like. For me being mad at you, next time I see a nigga, I'm just going to fuck him up mm. just because I'm mad at you. And I meant that shit. shit I meant shit that shit. Like, I'm going to fuck him up and you ain't going to be able to do shit about it. I, I just slapped my cousin's boyfriends because I ain't like them niggas before. I mean, open hand slap the shit out of them because I didn't like them niggas. So they should definitely not marry into your family then. Yeah, you man, can marry. Bro, slapping, here's the thing about, here about, here's the thing about me. Here's the thing about my family. I let a lot of shit roll off my back. Uh -huh. I don't. Remember, I tried to defuse that situation a million ways. I tried to defuse everything a million ways. I try. I don't want to fight. I don't want to get hit. I don't want to hit nobody. I want to drink and laugh and have a good time. Hmm. But once I cross that line, it's like, it's no coming back. I don't care about winning. I don't care about losing. I don't care about the shit being the tie. It's just respect at that point. It's going to know every time you yeah. see me, whether I win or lose, we're fighting hmm. until I win. And if Word. I never can, don't let that be the case. But <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> don't let that be the case. I what happened to we just gonna take this L? What happened to nah, that I ain't part? Taking no L, nah, no L's. No <laughs> L's. You, take, you take too many L's from a nigga. Nigga, see you. You think it's sweet every time he gonna yeah, see you. Yeah, like, but I'm you the one who wanna fight to, him every time. I'm about to blast. So off what if on he didn't want to fight you? You want to fight him? Y'all gonna fight him. You lose. But I know you gonna keep fighting this man until you win because he, and he don't want to fight you. Nah, I ain't gonna fight every time I win, but I know every time we get to a disagreement, it is mine. It's, he's gonna say, I can beat this nigga, so I'm gonna get dis disrespectful with him. You're not gonna keep doing that shit because it's gonna get to a point in my mind, yo, you're not gonna keep disrespecting me, and I'm gonna keep losing. Oh, it's, I'm about to even, I'm about to even the playing field, dog. It's about to get even real quick. I can't be mad at I'm just gonna skip that. I'm gonna I, hit I was you with something. Say, Dre has been nodding in agreements. Like, and that is it's really Man. Dre's First of all, Dre really doesn't like, get drunk and become a bully. He's never. really like, I'm never, not a bully. Yeah, ne never has Dre it. ever gotten drunk and become a bully. I don't Me a bully. and Dre have both witnessed Kev on different occasions get drunk yes. and become a bully. Oh, I don't become a bully. Oh, oh my God. God. How do you think you got shot day? Uh, bully because why I you, realized who that nigga was. Get kicked Stop. out your backyard on multiple occasions. Time the fuck out. I realized you get drunk. Lying you that you're bully. not gonna say that it was because of bullying. I wasn't bullying. Yeah. 
Think about the night. He's a bully. Just I a bully. realized who the nigga was. I was supposed to beat this nigga the fuck up, you but I didn't. Yeah. So I took. Cause he told my mom this. He told, listen, he, he told size. my mother a he long a time ago. Of Kev's size. He told my me. no, no, no. <laughs> listen what he did. A long time ago, he told my mother to suck his dick. He told my mom to suck his dick. And my mother said, I'm gonna get my sons to fuck you up. Every what? time I seen this nigga, this nigga ran. Even one time I went to get my daughter out the car, thinking it's my cousin, because you date my cousin. And I pulled Kiara's car seat out the car, and he got so scared that he pulled off that the car hit my daughter's car seat and spun it, and her car seat almost went underneath his back tire. I literally fought to fall on the ground away from his car. This nigga was old, a million ass weapons, 10 different ways. And when I was so drunk, mm. and I realized who this nigga was, but I knew I was too drunk to fight, I said, I'm taking this girl. He ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> when I'm too Stop. drunk to fight, I take your girl. You know <laughs> It wasn't wow. his girl. He probably would have won that fight. Period. That's what I was like. Yeah. That's what I was like. You know what? This is what we're bro, not about to fucking do. He's a bully. Bro. Goodness I'm gracious. Not not I got it. He's a, he, well, well, he was Let's a keep bully. pushing the conversation. Fuck this shit. I'm Can't not be friend. I was going to ask the reason why I brought up the asshole thing. Because I, I, know, I know an issue that happened. I got to change a bunch of things about it. But if you're known, if you're, if. You're with somebody that your family and you kind of knows to be an asshole, like yo, he rubs people the wrong way or she rubs people the wrong way. Yeah. What do you do then? Because it, I, if at a family function, getting into it with somebody, you know, what I'm saying, how how does that go? Do you take that person to take that person to the side and say, yo, you tripping, or like, do you take their side? Like that's that's what I was trying to bring up earlier. I'll take, let, I'm not taking. I'm not taking. No, I let a person become their own outcast. Oh, I don't like think, the, I mean, the I'm person you're with, I mean, the person you're with, like a girl, if she's yeah. like a known asshole, like you know she an asshole. Oh no! Nah, and everybody know. knows she an asshole, and they they're kind of like she's one comment away. Every time she comes around, she's one comment away for getting her head knocked from the fuck from, from somebody cussing her out or getting her or getting threatened to be shot. You can't you can't, you can't bring, bring her around. around. All right. You, can't bring around. you might need to let that go. What if it's funeral? her funeral? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what if it's a family member's funeral? I'm asking y'all. No, because there's some people that's like that's that. That's the worst time to bring them around. Because oh, you, you know this is coming. Around. This is coming from a real story. That's why. I'm, this that's is why this is that's the worst time to bring them around when people are sad and they're upset about a loss, and then they're already thinking negatively, and now. This ass, the, the first the first thing you think is like, this asshole here too. What the fuck well, are they doing here? Got you know what I'm saying? Like, what are they doing here? And then, and at that point, they don't care what's being said. It's just the slightest thing, mm -hmm. and now they like, yo, I'm tired. Of, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm just tired. Of, you over here eating this food that we prepared for? You don't even belong, that, bro. Now yeah. you, now them two arguing. Now you stuck in the middle. That's an embarrassing scene. What do you do? Got to, you got to leave. You Anybody got to take her and leave. What do you do? You got to leave. Yeah. You you gotta, gotta if you them, love you that person, you're going to leave. But it's like... You can't bring him there in the first But you got to realize, you with somebody fucked up and all your family feeling though they're fu a fucked up person and they're doing you fucked up, you really got to... You got to tell them that. I, I know, you know like, they're doing you fucked up. Yeah, Nobody but you got to tell them... You have to tell them that people think that they're an asshole because what if they don't know that or think that? What if they think that shit is just regular and they not realizing that they saying shit that they, that, you know what I mean? They shouldn't be saying. You know what I mean? You got to let that person know, like, yo, you know they think you an asshole, right? About to get your teeth I mean, because I be hearing shit and, and I'm not talking about hearing them call you an asshole. I just be hearing some of the shit you be saying. I be like, yo, why you say that? Right. You know what I mean? Like, you got to let that person know. And if they don't know no better, then I'm trying you might have to reevaluate who you with for your own benefit. Can't, you can't, you know what I mean? Because if the, if a lot, if one person thinks that they're an asshole and everybody else is like, nah, they cool. I mean, uh, but they cool. But if everybody thinks you're an asshole, it's just like, yo, you're, you're probably an asshole. That's why you got to get people that match your motherfucking energy. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you okay. get somebody that don't match your fucking energy, you can't bring them around your family. Maybe you, like I've seen people with like asshole girlfriends or asshole boyfriends, like they can't. They can't. They always apologizing for this person. Like, correct. You, yeah. Why are you always apologize? You, if you're always apologizing for this person, maybe it's the person, and we can see that you're clearly not happy with this person. Mm -hmm. 
Like, why the fuck are you with him? I guess the pussy or the dick must be that good that you really can't, you can't get out of that fog. But when yeah. you get out of that fog, whoo, my lord, having gates is going to open up with you, and you're going to probably fucking go the fuck off on that person with that energy that don't match yours. And there's going to be an ugly scene. I know my shit was an ugly scene. Dre was there that day, almost killed that bitch. Mm. Relax, Dre. No, Dre. No, no. So I almost killed that bitch. It took. It took this. It took Dre putting me in the headlock. <laughs> Choking the shit out of me and my dad hey, yo, picking me up off my feet. Dre with Kev in the headlock. <laughs> Dre What's fighting. He, I the need to see that. Yeah. I need to see that. Dre know what I'm that. talking hey, yo. My, Was it you who picked me up? No, was it who picked it me up? It was not me, sir. It was my dad. <laughs> it was not me. <laughs> this nigga had me in the headlock. Like, they dragging me like this. I'm trying to get at them. Oh, damn. I was that trying to put him in a diamond gutter. I'm like, yo, these niggas. <laughs> all right, <laughs> these all right. Niggas... Now I'm trying. Now I need to. I don't remember. When they threw my kid shit out on the lawn and said, fuck you, oh, kid. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Dre okay. had me in the yeah. fucking meanest headlock. Dre put kids. But it was, out of, it was out of love headlock. It was out of love headlock. My dad had me off my feet. It was yeah, all out of love. Good. Yeah, but these it, niggas it, like it kind of deserved where it was gonna go. But, said, oh but, yeah, I remember the whole thing yeah, the, 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 the foot the switch. <laughs> you no, know, it just deserved went. where it was gonna go. That shit was a tr- mm. oh, all, right. all right, yes, yeah, that was so, atrocious. But that was a person I was with who I thought had good energy, but it's like, yo, this person's a piece of shit. This person's yeah. really a piece of shit. Like, yeah. what she came around with the with the fakeness and shit. It wasn't nothing genuine. And I could tell what I really could tell was like people who really fuck with her. They like not a part of our circle no more, or they always flip flopping and shit. I'm like, man, that's the people you like. You like the people that I'm no longer in my circle, mm-hmm. the flip floppers. Mm-hmm. Like all the motherfuckers is gone. Like, all right, you ain't got good energy. Like it's certain. Like Shade could Shade can still come around. My other mom Danielle can still come around and talk to family members that I'm cool with, and they still like have a positive vibe, even though we not might not be together. It's like this person has good energy. I brought a good person that is a laugh, is a joke. It's no nobody's doing anything fake or trying to be fake with this person. Mm-hmm. Oh, I really like I hate when somebody says, Oh, I really like this girlfriend, but I hate that girlfriend. Listen, you don't like nobody. Okay. <laughs> hey yo. Don't, don't, don't do that shit. Don't do that shit. I tell them straight up, don't do that shit to me. Hey, I don't never like I like all I like most of my brother's girlfriends, but the ones I don't like, I tell them straight to the face, yo, I don't like you. Like we can get along. I don't fucking like you. I think you got to be real with a person like that. But I don't like the oh, I like everybody you bring along. You don't have to like it's everybody I bring along. It's not <laughs> true. It's not true. <laughs> you hated my last. Why did you hate the last person I was with? Because everybody else seemed to like her. You're just saying that to appease this person I'm with now because you come with the fake shit. Mm. Be you. Be well, real. Like well, I remember my mother, my brother, one of my bro- brother's girlfriend was like, "You still like such and such?" I'm like, "Yeah, she never did anything wrong to me." Like, why? Well, you can hate her. You can hate her. Right. Why now, she, the day she do, the day she do some harmful shit to one of my brothers, oh, then there's a light switch that kicks on. Like, don't fuck with my brothers. I become overly protective when it comes to my brother, to the point where I'm really, the, you know, ready to risk my life and my freedom status when it comes to my brothers. That's that's the type of shit I'll be on when it comes to my brothers. But right. if the girl never did nothing wrong to me, I don't I don't hate her. You don't like her. I'm not gonna mention her name around you. I'm not gonna ever we're not cool enough for me to invite her to Emily Function. But if yeah. she comes here to pick her kids up and I see her, I'm gonna hold a conversation with her. I got no beef with her. Correct. You don't have to hold a conversation with her. I'll hold the conversation. Hey, well, whoopie whoop. All right, good seeing you. Peace. But I'm not fake yeah. like that. I, I just, I, yeah, it's still people. Yeah. But I just hate the fake. I just hate the fake people that. Oh, I don't like that bitch. Here, this bitch come. But let me get back with it. Now, y'all friends again. Well, you can't. Yeah, nah. See, yeah. I don't even know what you, I don't even know what your real shit is. That's what I'm saying. I don't even know how you really yeah. feel. So, nah. Mm-hmm. I've seen that Fuck happen that. before, though. I've seen that happen, though. So, so, just, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. So, let's talking about that. That that brings us to the next thing. Everybody knows the holidays. I have cookouts for the holiday, all the holidays. I do Thanksgiving is done at my mom's house. Christmas is done here, and both all of our families. That's why I'm saying that we got good energy with our families. Everybody comes here for Christmas. You know, what I mean, like Shade family comes here. My family comes here. 
You know what I'm saying? Because this is our this is our thing. So both our families come here. When my mom has Thanksgiving, it's just my mom hosting it. So it's me, it's our family. It's not necessarily me and my girl doing something with my mother. But when we have Christmas here, it's me and it's our two families coming together. It's a good thing. We have a good time. Everybody's eating, laughing. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 I seen Charlie's grandma literally sit in the kitchen with my mom and my aunt. And was mad that Cliff was taking her away because they was having such a good conversation. She was like, Cliff, do we got to leave now? I'm talking with them. Like, I'm enjoying myself. I don't want to leave. They're in there having their own conversation. Nobody had to, like, set the conversation up. Mm -hmm. She was mad that she had to leave because she was having such a good time talking to my mom and my aunt. They were just in there laughing, having a good time. She's telling them stories about her life. They're reminiscing and everything. It was that's the energy, but that's the energy out throughout the whole house. Everybody leaves. Everybody's like, oh, I had a good time. Damn, it's over already. Even my cookouts. It's like every cookouts, motherfuckers, the last, I had a cookout. Motherfucker ain't leave my house at 4 o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. You're just patting yourself on the back. Yeah. You gotta go to fuck home. <laughs> yeah. I gotta go to fuck home. Kev, 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 Kev couldn't <laughs> tell nobody. The reason that they last that long is because Kev passes out in front of the bonfire. Oh when shit! Wake up, the party is still going, <laughs> and when he realizes that the party is still going, when Kev gets it. drunk and take a little nap, he comes back to the drinking again. Like, oh, yeah. okay. And well, yeah, but then he's ready to kick everybody out too. No, I know. I don't kick yet. nobody out. Not yet. No, no. that's why I'd be last. So you already said it. I don't kick nobody out. I last kick night, you out of your pocket. Night, you get the had, fuck out my had, house. Uh, we had game night last night, and uh, huh? Shadi was like, "I'm going to bed." And Kev was like, "Y'all ain't got to leave. She yeah. go to bed. We uh, still party." <laughs> yeah. so, shit. I don't kick nobody. I don't. I don't kick nobody out. Enjoy yourself. Like I said, four o'clock in the morning. I think the last two people was me. It was Frank and Calvin. That was it. I was carrying people. The '90s cookout. I was carrying people. That's out what I'm referring to. I could have sworn you was kicking niggas yeah. the fuck out. No, I was carrying niggas to, to their car because they were so drunk. Remember how much alcohol was there? Yeah. I was dragging niggas to their car. Niggas was passing out drunk. They like, help me get my husband to the car. One arm, one arm, carrying this nigga like house party to oh the nigga God. car. <laughs> Putting the nigga in a passenger seat. Glad y'all had a good time. We they like, we be here for the next one. I'm like, all right, bet. Glad you enjoy. I tell everybody, come to my house, eat, eat as much as you want, drink as much as you want, have a good fucking time. Yeah, you know I'm saying that's the energy. But how do y'all like like how do y'all cookouts go with y'all blended families? I want to know. Yeah, mine goes pretty well. I well, holiday. When, we, when we were having them, holidays goes great. We like you said, the important part is like being on similar energy. Me and her kind of like, you know what I'm saying? We it's it's kind of the same. So our families respect us the same. You know what I mean? They come to our crib, eat, chill. We don't party like y'all, but we chill. And then, <laughs> and then that's it. Like, you know what I mean? We eat, chill, everything good. <laughs> everything good. Yeah, you know I mean? that's it. I'm boring. Go ahead, y'all. It was boring. Oh, y'all shit's boring like that. Damn. Like, <laughs> that I, was like I had, <laughs> that I was had people make friendships from my family on other people's families off their own, just them interacting at a, a cookout. I'm like, y'all talk, y'all still talk. Like, yeah, no, we cool. I never got that much with cold co mingling. No. Yeah, I'm about to say I haven't we haven't done but it yet. Like I've gone to friendships. I've stuff. gone to their cookouts and she's gone to and my wife has gone to you know our cookouts, but mm-hmm. we haven't had our family. I mean, for the most, her sister came to the 90s party. Remember, they had their own table, everybody was lit. That was the, the her, her friend and her sister they came that day. But other than that, we yeah. haven't um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we haven't we haven't uh have other families indulge into each other's do it. Well, I have my bro- you know what my brother do Cyrus came to uh we we both went to a cookout at her uh sister's house a few years back when Cyrus came to visit to visit me. I think that's the most that's the only How'd person who's ever gone to a cookout. We had a good time, we ate good too. It's fun. Did it did the you um know? What's, what's the, the game you got to throw, the, throw the snacks into the sacks into the hole? <laughs> he said the potato huh? salsa and raisin in it. <laughs> nah. Oh my god. Nah. <laughs> Niggas eating salt and pepper chicken. <laughs> yeah, you gotta give me you gotta salt give us and pepper chicken. 
I no, respect I, I mean, everything, and I'm eating before I go just to be on the safe side to make sure. Yeah, come I'll on, Kev. Mm-hmm. You're yeah. going. I mean, you're in a a real her white sister's, situation. Her sister's vegetarian, so she brings her own food, like to cook on the grill, and makes them cook it. Like, yo, here's my veggie bean that's, burgers. That's, make these. That's actually a common thing. But it's common. But uh, like the music, I know you. I know you're getting tired of hee haw music. Come on, tell us wow. something. I mean, wow. my fiance listens to a lot of different stuff. She plays one channel that has everything from what I listen to to what she listens to. But I mean, right. there's I know some of the people that she listened to, not because I knew them beforehand, but uh, because I hear songs that make me fucking laugh my ass off when I hear the shit. Like, what the hell are they talk about? They should be like, oh, yeah, that's that's Georgia, Florida line. And I was like, what? <laughs> was that the trains? That's what they called or something like that. That's the group's name i was like i don't know nothing about this stuff but i mean yeah some of the cut we don't i don't sit in her i don't drive with her, I know so you heard a whole country music award playlist before come on man you, you lying to me i know you only went to time the i listen only time i hear her listen listen to music with, with Bro, yeah, he is. i'm sitting here like yeah Ke- kevin expect her to just go all no, she her to country family music. listens i don't do they don't you play the music cookout. while they don't play music while we're at the cookout. They have conversations and they talk to each other. Oh, they play that's games. different enough, bro. That right there is yeah. like crazy right. enough. Right? Yeah, they don't. They don't. You should have highlighted that because yeah. that. I mean, that's a major music. difference. It's not. It's not. It's not necessarily silent because everybody's like literally talking the whole time. That's but, weird. But that's yeah, they don't play. I don't the recall barbecue. them playing music. Pull up to the barbecue, <laughs> walking to the back gate, and just hearing niggas talking. The fuck is this? <laughs> this is a no, the thing about it is, y'all conference. But you know uh, what? When when, when 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 I get by the time I get Yo, there, because you know I get everywhere late. By the time I get there, everybody's already there. So when I walk in, everybody says hi simultaneously. So that's a little weird. Like oh, you know, we come out, to Cash Crib. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you know, like when I when I came here last night, everybody's like, "Yo, what's up? Yo, what up? What's going on?" Yo, everybody's saying it on their yeah. own time. You know, time. when you come in, they were like, "You'll hear everybody be like, hey," and they'll be like, "Oh, it's like it's like when you say surprise, <laughs> yeah. but with, with, with them greet with the greeting." You know what I mean? And it's, <laughs> it's like cool here. and weird at the same time because it's like almost welcoming, but it's like. The niggers here. Synchronized. Oh, <laughs> the niggers you know what I mean? Here. So, when he gets here, so, when he gets here make him feel welcome. Make him feel welcome, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's Mutual. weird is when, when, when we have, uh, when we're, when me and Leah are places like Kev's house, they have to apologize to her in advance for being racist because oh, yeah, they're about to make a racist shit. remark. They do it all the time. Yeah, and she I looks at him like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? But Kev, yeah, like, I'm that. sorry, Leah, but. White people, nah, nah, nah. But what if she, what if they fuck? did that? What if they, they do do that? that? You come. They do. Sorry, do guys. They do do that. I'm Leah talking about to that, y'all. Though. I'm talking about. I've been at a. Y'all. I've been at. I dated a white girl briefly in my life. Yeah. And them niggas said some. Them niggas would apologize right before the most racist shit comes the fuck out. And then I gotta look at him like, you know I'm what? I genuinely later. can't be mad at him because I see mad racist shit myself too. At least you're honest with it. You apologize before you said it. Hey, hmm. hippity hop. Be like, like, what the nigga? What? <laughs> can't be Sorry, like, no music like that. Here. The only yeah, nigga I, I know that be fuck? like, I respect your racism. I do. Listen, <laughs> I yeah, respect you know the blatant because... racist be- before I respect the hidden racist. I- hey. You got a Confederate flag in your house and you don't like niggas, I can respect you. I can't respect the nigga as soon as I leave. Oh, Jesus Christ, I feel so much better. I can say nigger again. Like, I don't respect that type of I can of say nigger again. <laughs> nah, I think responding to... Um... Dre's looking. What he's looking at? Because you got food. <laughs> dog climbing up the window. But back to what I'm saying, Kev's cookout is weird. He goes to because niggas can have music playing at a black cookout and it still be the same amount of conversation. Yeah. But that music in has to be in the background. Just so you can hear it. Just so you know you had a cookout. Like, all right, cool. That's something I used to listen to. Like, damn, I love it. Yeah, we always have. I mean, I've never known a us cook- to have a, any type of any type of festivity. Anything. We had game night last night. She put the music on the phone. Boom. Yeah, boom. Just, just to have it. You know what I mean? But but yeah, no, it was, it even, was yeah, I don't, even I don't recall music. And if there was music there, it's because I didn't like it and my brain auto-tuned it out from the yeah, memory. No, my son's like dad it it it. play music in the background with the gatherings. Yeah. No, it was it was much more chiller and calm. 
and they talked at normal um level of volume. It wasn't a lot of screaming. Like people yeah. were talking. Oh. It's not like they were whispering. They it's were like talking. They're and that's a shot at Kev. That's a but shot like, at Kev. Yeah. No, that's how me. She went yeah. out too. She talked about her. Me and my best friend probably the loudest bitches you know. So no, you know we. That's us in my no family. That's how Kev we are. Like. Party. Yep. Yeah, be Drunk? all of us oh together. Oh my God! Oh, Kev, get Drunk the girls outside. Is it? Come. That's just the most entertaining. Kev yeah. is I'm the sorry, loudest. Sorry. Go ahead, go. go funniest ahead. guy. It, it ain't all of that theatrics and everything going on. You know, black people extra when something funny we falling out. <laughs> it's like a different. Life. We rolling around on the floor. Nah, they not doing all of that. They it just was... conversating and they just chilling and they relax. <laughs> there ain't no space tournaments. There ain't no no face <laughs> ten, no hardcore shit talking. It's not none of that. They it's, just having a nice dinner in the gathering. Nah, see, you gotta have a There's fight almost. Though. You almost gotta have a fight ready to brew because somebody's having a disagreement at a space table. Like, even when I went to Kev, remember we used to Kev cook out, your mom cook out. Even all Port, even Puerto Ricans, they got the music in the back. Uh -huh. You just feel the vibe. They my people. Puerto Ricans closest thing to black. How the fuck? They the only person outside of black race that can say nigga and is not offended. <laughs> I can never yeah, hear a Chinese dude come up to me and say, a Chinese dude come and say something, my nigga. Motherfucker, Yo, what? A Chinese dude saying that shit is fucking crazy, though. <laughs> How would he say it, Kev? How would he say it? <laughs> Don't like Jackie Chan. Don't fucking do that, yo. What's up, my nigga? Do not, Dre. I am so mad you fucking asked him that. Hey, hey, hey nigga, I told you 15 minutes, oh, right? My God. Hey, my nigga, I told you I had you in 15 minutes, right? Is, you know it, is that an uppercut or no? Yeah. Is that an no. uppercut? I don't know. Oh, where an uppercut. oh what, man, I'm gonna hit that nigga with an uppercut what, 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 at the end. What, like niggas say it even more is they probably serving you fried chicken as they say in the shit. So it's just like a if double entendre. Say, if a Chinese person called me a nigga, I'm like, you dog cat eating motherfucking oh all, my God. Man, all yeah, types of shit. You all the pocket. Call a nigga then. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You ain't gonna call me no nigga, but I'm just yeah. saying. I'm gonna tell them to. But, my Puerto Rican, even my Puerto Rican family, they got music playing. I couldn't go to a white cookout with no music playing. I'd be like, yo, y'all got to turn something on. I don't okay. give a fuck. If y'all can turn on Tim McGraw, as long as that shit in the background playing, as long as I hear them guitars and that banjo going, I'm Kev, dead. Play Jim, that shit. It's Jim McGraw. Jim yeah. McGraw. I don't know the motherfucking name. Something. I don't give a fuck. We can listen yeah. to some country music. I can feel like I'm at Texas Row House. I don't care. <laughs> hey, yo, shut up. <laughs> I don't care. Texas Row House. Texas Row House. Texas Row House. Texas Row Break the silence. I don't think there's a terrible individual. There is any oh real God. difference. Like, the music thing is something that's like, whatever. Like, I, yeah, it's a joke, but. It really doesn't matter if I come on, you know what I mean? As long as I'm having fun, if it is engaging conversation, um, I'm I'm fine with that. But I'm glad my, my wife's family is kind of the same. So like we we do it's the same you vibes. Know, you know who it is? I love her to death. But my uh my brother Shannon, his wife, she's white. So their family's white too. But it'd be bugging me out, it'd be fucking vegetables there. It's like a whole layout of fucking vegetables. <laughs> Come on, let's be real. What do you at mean? Niggas wait, wait, wait. At niggas explain. Cook <laughs> explain, explain, explain. It'd be like, it'd be like a layout of carriage and, and <laughs> celery sticks. <laughs> What's wrong with vegetables on a cookout? I'm like, nigga? I'm like it, yo, dip in the middle? nigga, how is, much, how much, how much different middle? meat do niggas yeah. have at the cookout before you get to macaroni salad, maybe some potato salad, if you're lucky, oh, some rice God. or some corn. Oh. These I'm looking like yo, where the fucking burgers at? I'm not eating this shit. Like, is I, there a dip in the middle? I don't give a fuck if it is dip. Yeah, it's dip in the middle. I don't That's care. It's just, just be an appetizer. I don't smell no. It's a meat. palate cleanser. I don't see no meat. I don't smell no meat cooking. Oh, they have no shit. meat the at meat, all. The meat be cooking, but it be mad late. When you pull oh. up to a cookout, you're supposed to have that charcoal meat grilling aroma that's your backyard. I get there. It, like he said, there's no music too. And I'm looking at <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there's no mean, music and best of all. There's no nothing going no. on in the background. Huh? Best of all. There's no nothing going on in the background. It's just not loud. Hey, Kev, hey, Kev, niggas be playing charades. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
like Nettie said, it's not a loud. You gotta have black people mm-hmm. gotta have a loud atmosphere. Yeah. It's gotta be fucking loud. It have to be loud so you oh, know you're yeah. there. You Niggas gotta be precautionary laughing. to make sure you keep your level at a certain tone because if you get too excited, hey, yo, I'm you about start to say even loud. even like when you get to a cookout and you hear if you if you're just getting there and you hear the shit bumping and everybody having a good time, you automatically get excited. Like, yeah. Oh, we about to have a time. But when you get to a, when you get to a cookout and you don't hear nothing at all, like, and the door is already open, so you just walk like, inside and everybody's just it's talking and stuff. It's, it's just like it's, <laughs> how, how long we got? It's like how long we got to stay here? <laughs> you just everybody be like, hey, how you doing? And then they guide you to where the food is at. Food's over here. Drinks over here. Get yourself a seat. So how's everything going? Directly in the conversation, you know what I mean? Let's talk about work. Yo, the vegetables is over here. It's a crazy <laughs> ass thing to say when I walk in that fucking door. I don't like, like, I like the, the soup and vegetables with dip. I like that personally. Wait, hold on. You know what I mean? Wait, hold on. They got the potato salad here. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta put one last thing. <laughs> wait, on he this. was outraged. Grab, they grab had the fucking raisins. vegetables. They <laughs> had a spread <laughs> of vegetables, crazy. and everybody yeah, sitting them. there like, okay, they have them. vegetables in like put the just... grapes and the potatoes. I don't get drunk with my nigga and I chill. <laughs> but you got at a cookout, you got to hear somebody from the distance out of nowhere, loud as fuck, say, oh shit, nigga, you finally made it? That's when you know you at the cookout. Damn, nigga, you just got here? <laughs> Tell me how many times have you heard that coming yeah, to a nigga cookout? nigga from your fucking family because you set me up. Hey, mom, look who's here. Oh shit, they, they like, let oh. you out? That's what this nigga do every time I show up to a Because my function. mother always set asks about you. My mother he always, where's Dre up. at? <laughs> mom, I look remember I told, when I told my mom we was having we was having something and my mom was like, where's Dre at? Like, mommy moved to Florida. What? She went the fuck off. Like, I didn't tell your mama. I could have sworn we had that conversation because nah, I came mother. to the 90s party. Yeah, she came. But listen, even when Netta come in, my mama coming. pulled Netta aside. Netta, you know Randy about to mess with you, right? Uh-huh, every time. She's like, you know Randy about to get you, Netta. Creep is away. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> But that's but that's the energy your family should have. Mesh, like that's the cultural difference. I think the cookouts, like my girls' cookouts, them shits. Her sister cookouts be jumping. Her mother's cookout is like, all right, it's a little yeah. bit more. It's no music. It's vegetables. It's the meat, <laughs> the meat. There's no hamburgers yet. It takes forever for a hamburger. I come in there looking for. You should that's expect the ham. Do you expect at least to have a hamburger? A ready? hamburger or a hot dog. Or ready. you can get chicken or steak chicken. or anything like that. Later. What you got? Yeah, I feel you. It's yeah. protocol. But it's that goes things. back to our traditions from generation to generation, how we know how to set shit up. And yeah. baked beans. It's only thing is baked beans, <laughs> potato salad, macaroni salad, maybe some rice. But it's a choice of meat from ribs to chicken. At least a ham- at least when you get there, you know you can grab a hamburger and a fucking hot dog. When I have to come in and look at fucking celery and a fucking carrot, I'm mad. I don't want to get one carrot. (laughs) It's mad. Wait, I want to know who the nigga, who the nigga the night before chopping the carrots. Like this shit, (laughs) your shit about to be crazy tomorrow. Chopping the carrots. Got this homemade dip. Uh, you thought like I'm saying, <laughs> yo, 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 you playing the game. I came to eat real food. I ain't come to eat no fucking celery. You come play some carefully on the you train. You come hungry to a cookout. Yeah. You eat right, breakfast for eat, a cookout. Yeah, you. Been, oh, I've been yeah. starving since last night. Oh shit, this thing, I know this nigga got some bomb ass chicken. I can't. Hey, yo, that's what that's that's some real shit that we do too. Like some real nigga shit. Like you know the cookouts tomorrow. You know what? I'm gonna eat early today because tomorrow I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna sleep through the night. I'm gonna wake up hungry. No breakfast. Nope. I got I got an appetite for for this cookout. But when Kev get there and the carrots and the fucking cauliflower is sitting next to each other, <laughs> celery. Kev, 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 make a, Kev make a plate of that shit and throw it against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, you know you got to do that at your next joint, yo. Anytime Kev comes to your house, you have a whole plate of fucking carrots. Don't do that shit. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> don't do that. Cause I'm be mad. I'm like, yo, I'm look at you like you fucking crazy. I'm like, I'm look at you like you fucking crazy. Bro, Look these niggas like- were surprised the last time he came to my house. I had one cookout that 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 you came to, but I don't ha- I didn't have cookouts a lot, so, and it was surprised that I was done early cooking all the food. And I was there early. You was def- definitely there early. You was like, uh, you was like, yo, you done already? I'm like, yeah. Like I didn't think that was a thing. Like to uh-huh. not be done early, I don't want to be on this fucking grill all day. 
Yeah, that's niggas see me feeling. on the niggas see me in my grilling clothes. I don't even go in the house to get chased. He I just be in start the trenches. Gr- I'm not that's gonna because lie. Kev grill from he 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Yeah, Kev yeah, grills still grill. the whole and be cookout. Damn limited food for everybody. Yeah. I've never he cooks Always. and I be doing it to he him cooks. too because I be like, yeah, you, we doing Jason's. He be back party. there you cooking 200 burgers, 200 hot dogs, and he just 60 slabs of the rib. All he day. cook a whole chicken pen. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure he's skinning them jaws and right he before he cook them. Too. So if he he makes right sauce on the side. Yep. Then he leaves the house in the clothes. Go get some other shit. For real. Ice and shit. Ice and shit like that. Yep. Come back. Yeah. While the grill's still going. Yep. Continues to cook. Shit's insane. Yeah. Going to the house smelling like He really is Al Bundy. I've like, been trying to tell him, like, yo, Kev, you need to be doing this shit the day before so you could just nah, chill. I don't, and Kev be like, nah, but we the thing this is, shit right now, yeah. all yeah. night, all day. But niggas come sweating around. Sweating his ass off. People, family mad members. Too. Mad at everybody. <laughs> yo, oh, man, yeah. how many times be, you came back to the grill? The <laughs> yeah. Don't think he doing that shit with a smile the whole time because mm-hmm. he going to fuss and he going to let niggas know that he is irritated. Yeah. He be out there in the sun sweating. And then when I sit down with y'all niggas, like I, I let everybody, I let the families get together. I don't feel like introducing, hey mom, this is her grandma. Hey mom, this is her dad. It's like her family comes, y'all in inter- start intertwining. Let me see y'all got this natural connection. Y'all both getting y'all plates, y'all both eating. Maybe this one don't drink, but they smoke. All right, here go. Or smoke a section with fam, my family. Smoke. They'd be like, "Yo, who? I never seen Yo, you." Yeah, they'd be like, "Hey, I'm Sade. I'm 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 Sade's mom." Da-da-da. Oh yeah, what's up? Yeah, da da da. I'm Kevin's cousin. Da da. I'm Kevin's this, and they just start rapping. I'm like, "All right, they cool." Grandma's over there. I always make sure the grandmothers get a plate. Grandma, you need a plate. Boom, boom, boom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My grandma, when my grandmother was still alive, my grandmother and them be having a conversation about back in the day shit. I'm like, All right, everybody's cool. That's how it should be when your families get together. It should be cool. Your families first get together, and there's some button of heads, and there's some, a lot of side eye looks, and it's dead quiet. Your fucking relationship is not going to go well because it's going to be birthday parties. That's such yeah, a key right. factor. Yeah, he's right. It's going to be yeah. birthday parties. It's going to be eventually Christmases and holidays. You can't. You can't tell your mother like, yo, you, you can't come because, or get, my dad's not coming because he don't get along with your mom. Like, that is a fucking hard pill to swallow. It's like, oh my God, this is my mother. Mm. Like, nigga, you know, why? my mom's got to be here. I'm not going to make some fake beef up between me and my mom to please my girls. Like, yeah, y'all got to figure this shit the fuck out. Let's have a sit down. Let's, why y'all don't like each other? All right, let's, let's, all right, cool. Maybe it's a misunderstanding and some miscommunication. Right. And usually that conversation smooths shit out. But if you're just a, like, my mom is not an ass. My mom, y'all know my mom. Mm-hmm. Everything is a joke with her. It's hard not to like this woman. She fucking greets you with a smile and a plate of food. And if you sit and drink with her, oh, she's going to make sure you get fucked up. Are oh, you sitting and drinking with so me? Drink right, cool. the table. Exactly. Every time that's why I'm on vacation, I'd be right with her. Yes. Going? Where are we going? Exactly. So if it's hard to get along with that person, there's some miscommunication. Let's I, like real shit. My mom and Shardy had like a minuscule beef when we got back together, and we legit had to sit everybody down. We had to talk it all out, and the shit got smoothed out. And I'm glad it did because it was a lot of miscommunication. But my mom's like me; she's gonna say how she feel up front. Shardy's also. Of splitting, she gonna say which how she feel up front. I ain't care. Y'all talk it out, and y'all smoothed out. Now y'all are cool, but it was a lot of miscommunication. That should be you should be able to do that. Like mm. if, if your fiance doesn't like this person, have a conversation, see what it's all about. Maybe it's a miscommunication. Yo, I think that's the key to it all, bro. Like you hit the nail on the head with that one. Like a lot of that, everything we talked about with this subject could be solved by communication, even if it ends mm-hmm. in motherfuckers parting ways. Yo, let's get this communication going, and it could solve probably 95% of your problems. The other yeah. part is fighting. Yeah. Y'all need to back. Like, yo, here go the funniest yeah. shit. Like, my mom, <laughs> my mom told me a story between 
one of my uncle's girl and my grandma, <laughs> they got into a fucking fist fight. Ooh. It's oh the my God. Oh, she got to go anyway. No, she didn't go. My grandmother respected that because she had that much love for my uncle. And my grandmother had that much love for my uncle. They got to a fist fight. Wow. And they were loving each other. <laughs> after that, after the fist fight happened, they wind up, every time they seen each other, it was smile and a hug. But they had to knuckle it up one good time to get it That's out. It, was, it got to that point. They had to knuckle up. Oh, and after the God. knuckle up situation, you know, black people, you knuckle up with somebody with black and black family. Yeah. Sometimes it's like that's what we needed to do. That's we, all you needed to do. I, I, you stood your ground, stood my ground, motherfucker. Look, all right, that's we fought it out. Is over. But we all got that family member that just can't let shit the fuck go, even after the knuckle up or mm -hmm. just. But you know oh what, too. God. I think social media should be playing a major part in stuff as well because you know, like yep. when disputes or issues are just happening amongst families that's one thing but then when social media becomes a part of it and people posting stuff or saying things or doing subliminals or whatever you know what i'm saying it elevates shit a lot of times to like the next level of just kind of like putting it on a public forefront i mean me in general like i'm i'm just nosy like I'm that person that I just see somebody on Facebook. I don't even really know them like that. And I see them arguing with somebody. And then I'm looking on that person page. I'm Yo, like, who the real. fuck is this? Mm. I'm like, oh, shit. Need to see that's your cousin. That. And then I'm on the cousin's page. And then I'm looking at them like, oh, shit, that's the grandmom. I remember Every the time. grandmom she used to be the, the lunch lady at the high school. Then I'll be going over to the next page. I'm just, I mean, it's I'm on the internet. Page. Like, you know, I'm just nosy like that. So I just feel like. Now with technology, whether if it's smartphones, screenshots, you know, you know, taking something with somebody say and texting it back with somebody else, social media, it really just starts really bringing shit to the next level as far as the drama <laughs> and ways that like that miscommunication really can happen. Mm. I try to like keep shit off social media. Like I'm not the type of person that if I'm dating somebody, you likely not going to see nobody on my social media. Like I I'm just not that person just because of all the shit that can come with it. That's just me personally, but whoever that do it, that's, you know, that's their own thing. But then there'd be people that they'd be arguing, then the breakup happened, it'd be going over social media. It just, and then when you had a family involved, it do. It kind of mm -hmm. just escalates shit. Social media gave a voice to people we sometimes ignore. You can see the person that you ignored your whole life that was that uh -huh. asshole in your family has the most to say yeah. on social media. And it's always them people that's going gas, like on both ends. Like it don't matter if it's the person who's right or wrong. Like the people who's commenting, they don't really know all that's going on. They just going off the post. You know what I'm saying? And it's always them people that comment and, or like or whatever, you know, and just kind of fuels it or tries to make that person feel like they validated for what they're doing. So it's real, it's just really interesting. It's unfortunate though. Like I be seeing that shit all the time, just in general on social media. Like it's actually real common more than anything. Even if people post statements, like it might not even be drama, but some people be like, for those of you that know already, me and Brad, we broke up last week. We decided Brad. that we're going to go. You know what I mean? Like some people that come out and they Yo, do a Motherfuckers out but there throwing the line. Because they, they know that people, you know what I mean? They know people are gossiping and all that. So some people, they take Fuck that approach. Brad. <laughs> and they come out with their little mm -hmm. statements and shit. Fuck Brad. And then Brad be back next week. Brad be back next week. They That's why I mind my Brad. fucking I'm, business. I mind my business. Yeah. I definitely don't Fuck. Mind my yeah. business. I try to preach that to my girl all the time. You yeah. need to mind your my business. business. Get involved with other people's fucking shit mm -hmm. because as soon as you give them a peace of mind and they take your advice and your advice doesn't work out to their advantage, they fucking wonder why they listen to you. Mm -hmm. Now you're in the middle of some dumb shit or now you gotta fucking hear some shit you'll need to hear. That's why I like to mind my business. I look at shit from afar and I and I see the information and know what's going on. I just keep it moving. Nope. You ask time. me about my opinion, unless you like, unless I'm really close to you. You ask me my opinion about something, I'm like, I don't know, bro. You gotta like, that's what I was figure, about to say. You gotta figure something out because I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how you should handle that. Don't ask how that. I handle it because you're not me. Half the time, they don't even really be all knowing them all like that. It'd be the main people that's just Joe and weird that yeah. really be inserting themselves into shit. 
Yeah. And it's like exactly if I don't know you like that, if I already know you like that, we if we speaking on it, we speaking on it personally outside of social media, just in our day to day lives. I'm not yeah. gonna be weird and just be on your page discussing any of that shit. <laughs> so that's how I feel like yeah. it's either the hype friends that just be extra, or it be the weird ones that's not even really involved in a the situation. They just want to be seen. Or the niggas that you don't talk to uh, will put the comment, "Call me." Yeah, nigga, I don't got your <laughs> number. What the fuck <laughs> is this talking about? Call me for it. No. If you're calling me on Messenger, call me. That, like I have her number. I have his number. They I pre they got my number. If you're calling me on Messenger and you ain't got my number, we really don't talk like that for you to even know what's going on. That's why I don't I don't post too much shit. Me and my girl, we have problems, but it ain't for social media yeah. to know because if you put on social media, you might find out that family member from I might find out from that family member on her side of the family who really don't like me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And once you, I know you really don't like me, ain't no more fake shit with me. Can't. I'm sorry. Just be yourself. I'd rather you be yourself. I'd rather you not like me. And it's a hi and it's a bye. That's the most conversation we're going to have the whole time we sitting here for two hours. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm cool with that. Just being cordial at that point. I can, I can live with that. It's hi and a bye. It's, like, okay, I'm I good with all that. that. Yeah. Good. I don't need the drama. I don't need you. Oh, you know, I was just upset. You know, you did such and such wrong. I, no, 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 no. That man. fuck you, My bitch, baby. you hoe ass nigga. Keep that same energy. It's all yeah. right. Go ahead. Keep it. I like that. I prefer that. That's how you truly feel about me. No hard feelings. You don't like me? Cool. No hard fucking feelings. Let's enjoy life. Let's go back to drinking. Stay the fuck away from me. But I also feel like it get to a certain point too. Like I know people are supposed to compromise and try to come to like uh you know common ground for peace and family and all of that. But then you know it also comes to a point where like it's not about pettiness, but it's about protecting your own peace. And if you know you're around somebody and they're not on the same wavelength as you and they're not bringing you the right energy, and you know that y'all just don't get along and y'all don't care for each other. Sometimes it's better to kind of just remove yourself from that situation and you're not involved in the controversy and the drama and, you know, just keep that space between each other. It's like a double edged sword because sometimes when you try to say like you always want to keep going around that person and but then drama always keep happening between them two people every time that they're around each other. Sometimes mm. it's kind of like maybe y'all should just not be the fuck around each other then because, you know, if. You know, these two people both show up to the barbecue, they bound to get into it, or it's a, a big chance that something gonna go down. It's like, well, maybe they don't need, both need to be at the damn barbecue then. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just don't tell neither one of them. Just don't, you know what I mean? Like, if that's the case, if you're not sure if the barbecue's gonna be ruined because they can't be at the same function. I mean, shit really be like that. And I'll be getting it too, because if you got a problem with somebody Man. and you don't see them on a routine basis and you catch them somewhere and that's your opportunity to address whatever you want to say to them. I mean yeah bet not catch my you better not catch me on one of my barbecues my mom barbecue. My mom tell you in a heartbeat go down the hill and fight. <laughs> down the hill. <laughs> go down the hill and fight. Me, I tell you I got a corner in my yard. There can't nobody see nothing going on. Go over there and fight. <laughs> y'all y'all really feel this way? Stop screaming. Go over there and fight. Oh y'all really don't want to fight? Y'all don't want that please be quiet. Mm -hmm. But go over there and fight. Yeah. Niggas don't want to hear that. What? We, we got to knuckle up. I was just trying to make a scene because I always make a scene, which we, oh, man, we got family members like that. And I love them to death. But we all got families that just come make a scene for no reason. And it's just like, it, it's not necessary. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it, it, it's just, it's like I said, this whole thing is weird. Marrying into other people's family, you got to, man, it is, it is weird. When you start mixing it, you better hope, like, you better hope your families get along because it's gonna be an awkward mm -hmm. fucking wedding. I guess I got that's where you ones. really don't want shit to go down at. Go ahead, go ahead. Let me tell tell a story. No, I said I got some good, like we got some good ones. So like I'm lucky. I'm pretty sure oh, y'all yeah. lucky too. Like my family, yeah. they're a little bit different to where they're more like really religious. Like I have several like ministers and stuff like that in my family. So they are definitely much more calm they're not um very outspoken and it's not a lot of like controversy or arguments or anything like that mm. going on at family functions but it's all the behind the scenes shit that goes on with the gossiping and talking about people and spreading stuff around to each other behind the scenes so it's kind of like 
I mean, shit, I'm, I'd, I'd rather my fucking family just be up front. And if you show up at an event and you know people don't get along, everybody know what the fuck is going on and everybody all on the same page. But like when my family, they'll kick your fucking back in and then like when they greet you, they be like, they act like the shit ain't never happened in the name of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm gonna pray for you and shit. And it's like, Keep, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, motherfucker, keep me in your prayers. Do not pray for me because I know you're going to put a hex on me. Leave me, to, leave me out your prayers. I got this. Oh, my God. You got to hit them with a suplex off the rip. I got this. Oh, like, uh-uh. Man, nah, I, I, don't pray for me. You one of them religious motherfuckers. Yeah. Don't pray for me if you don't like me. And it, yeah, and it ain't even nothing against, you know, religion or people's, you know, spiritual habits or anything. It's just one of them situations where it's like, it's a turn off because it's used as like, you know, manipulation to justify like, mm-hmm. you know, that they do or they, they don't take accountability. So when you see them, everything is all about, you know, preaching a word. And if you don't do X, Y, Z, you're going to go to hell. Oh, hell but then true. behind the scenes, it's a lot of like drama and shit going on. So even that was like a cult- cultural difference when I was with Jay's dad and like, him not coming from a religious background like oh, that Lord and then coming Jesus. over to my house and we're like Baptist, you know what I'm saying? So like, you know how it is in black church, like our services is long. People oh. would be catching the Holy Ghost, they'd be sweating, <laughs> falling out. You know what I'm saying? Like how our communion is different from like a Catholic communion. <laughs> uh, it'd be quick. You know what I mean? They, they go to church, they say their prayers and they light their candles or whatever their traditions are and they get up out of there. But, you know, he ain't never go to church and it just be hours and then it'd be multiple services in the day. You go to church and he oh, hell no. fried chicken <laughs> with some skies and some cornbread in the basement. And then you got to get ready for the afternoon service, too. And you got to go to praise and worship, too, for the oh, service whoa. start and all of that. Too much Jesus. Jesus will understand. <laughs> too, like, I, too much Jesus. Real much. quick, real, real quick, because I'm good, because that reminded me of something. And, I, and I'm, a, you know, I'm going to wrap it up. I did that one time with this girl when I was maybe 17. She said, yo, you know, she wanted me to meet her mom and all that. And her mom was like, okay, you, you know, you, you talking to my daughter, you got to go to church with us. I said, oh, okay. Like, I ain't paying no mind. I'm like, all right, cool. Go there. She driving? A little hour. A little t- <laughs> we were there for eight fucking hours. Yeah. That's crazy. And I was in, I, you know, I got ADHD anyway. I'm fucking, mm-hmm. to- I feel tortured in this pew. I'm like, oh yeah, no, never again. Never again. I will never yeah. go to church for eight hours ever in my life again. Love you, Jesus. Yeah, fuck her. That's no, how my no. um, family is. Like, my grandma is like the mother of the church. They do like tons of like philanthropy and like volunteer work in the community through the church and everything. So like, it it be for real when when you go it do some days it be all day like that it's the missionary board's anniversary so it's a evening service and they doing a whole ceremony for them or maybe the um the praise dancers got a special performance so they got a the church is extended so they could do it like it just be it just be in the black church they have a reason to extend every service is one thing or the next I'm it's telling only, you I walk it's out so much. I walk out it's so much, I walk yeah. Yeah, there's only so much the, the people in the white face can come out and do this and do that yep. and do all this. Nah, uh, <laughs> that's my listen. kid. Ah, walk listen. the fuck out of a service. Yeah. Jesus, I apologize. Yeah. I'm the fuck out of here. I'm sorry. I got a whole day to. I I heard the word. I heard. I got. I got the Holy yeah. Ghost. <laughs> I gotta get the fuck up out of here. And it was, it was only so much praying yeah, and, and Jesus you can do before I get the fuck up out of here. Yeah, Dre in there for uh, for a shift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah basically for eight hours yeah so that's what i'm saying that for somebody that not come from that that don't go to church at all or if they do them. they don't they don't go to, to that like type of custom oh, yeah. hey, yo, what? it'd be overwhelming <laughs> knocked her whole head off before i went <laughs> <laughs> so have anybody ever been to like you have you been to a white y'all y'all dated white people both of you. we all did, I did. Oh, have y'all ever been to a white church yet like, have y'all been to a white church? I've been to a white church, but not because... I, I have. Yeah, somebody. but not I because just, of dating. I, just, I oh. just have been to a white church. And I was stunned. I was stunned at how quick the services was. It's like, shit, two hours? I, I, I used to go to a Catholic school. What? Right? Solid Rock? I was shocked. Yeah, I Solid ain't know that. No, no, no. Solid Rock was a... It Solid was Rock quiet. seems like a cult. A bunch of black kids. First of all, <laughs> the church was quiet. That's crazy. The choir, when they were singing, it was real serene. It wasn't like... Like, they didn't have no choreography. Ooh. 
it was like saltine crackers. It didn't have that special flavor in with it. <laughs> and and you got to the like, point. Huh? Where's the theatrics? Yeah, they didn't have all the theatrics and all the extras. They got in there. Crackers. They read Thank the scripture. You. They did the prayers. They did the customs, and then they right. gave the blessings. And they said y'all can have a great day. Praise it was still early in the morning, and I had the whole rest of my day to do. Mm-hmm. I was like, I am not used to this. Usually. By the time you get out of church and eat dinner, it's time to go to bed. Like dinner, <laughs> church and dinner shouldn't even go to go church and dinner. You nah, go to church, bro. you go out to eat after church. You go home, you start getting ready for bed, get ready yeah, for uh, the next day. Yeah, all day church. I, I, yeah, I went. To, I went to my grandma's church. They gave us breakfast, and I stayed till lunch. <laughs> okay. She said. She said they're about to go again. My grandma ain't eating dinner. Oh, I got to go. See how she said the white preacher. White preacher just read the scripture. These thou they just go through the whole thing. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus walked across the yeah, river. That's you know, he did all of that. He get right to it. Black church. Jesus walked the river. Hey, nigga goes on a whole nother tandem. Yeah. Get back to where you left off at that goddamn sentence. Nigga go tell no, a two hour story. Left off. Two hour story. Then come back to the next sentence, and there's another two hour story. Like, you, gotta, bro, you gotta be something to that. It's do. Yeah. Like, yo, hey, yo, my G. Read the paragraph you had assigned to the day. Yo. Fuck all the extra hey, stories. Yo, call, him, call him Pastor. <laughs> call him Pastor Robinson. My G is crazy, bro. Pastor, hey, yo, my Pastor G. Floyd or whatever his name is. Hey, yo, my G, get back to the service. Like, my hey, oh like, my God, on. I'm crying. Yo, get back to the service. You should be calling on my Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like that, that, that guy's to be. Hey, yo, what like, what would you like? Like, what would know. you do? Like, like, say if your girl was an atheist, right? Her family was an atheist, and you get married. Like most people that get married, and their families all atheists, and you get married, you usually have a pastor that marry you. Like, how do you do that? Like, how do you accommodate both families? That's if one rude. believes in God and the other one is like, fuck this shit. Look, I be watching I'm 90 Day Fiance, and that just yeah. be the basis of basically the yeah. entire show. It be people. Sometimes the people be coming from other countries, and they be coming to the U.S. Sometimes people in the U.S. be moving to other countries, and mm-hmm. they be living over there, and they have to fully assimilate into their lifestyles and their customs. Like, they be going over there, and they be living in India or Morocco. They be in these Muslim countries, and they be expected to, like, cover up and do what they do over there in that region like it really be crazy but the wedding be a key thing too mm-hmm. like both of them trying to include their traditions and how the wedding is going to be and the type of dress you could wear like that's usually a big factor too because in america we have wedding dresses that go from covering you from head to toe to sheer and see through and basically you can see everything so when they go over there and they get married, they be expected to like wear the traditional garb. And some mm. of them women be over there and they be like, I'm not wearing this. I'm American. I'm not going to I'm not going to dress like this. You don't tell me what to wear. Disrespecting mm. their culture. And that's I'm just like, well, time. why you go marry somebody that's from over there if you don't want to like participate in their culture? Or- yeah. Okay. I guess I ain't see that movie without I never I guess she ain't never seen that movie without my daughter. I that I've never seen took, it either, Kev. I'm about to say I've yeah. never seen he it. Took, he took she had married a Muslim dude and he took her to his country when she thought every you know when she was in America, he treated her with respect and all this shit. It was an old movie made in the 90s, so it's probably inaccurate. But he took her to his country. She started like talking and having an opinion and got her head took off by her husband. And that's what you're supposed to do because all the men in the family look like, oh, she ain't supposed to be talking. She said that's what Put this garb on. Took her head off, swack, swack him, swack him. And she was trying to get out the country <laughs> with her daughter. Effects? And she couldn't get out the country <laughs> with her daughter. So she had to like fight with like the embassy. And she like, it was crazy. It's called Without My Daughter, man. That, that was a good movie. But they she she married a Muslim <laughs> dude from one of them, I think like Iran or some shit like that. And it was like, yo. She should have ran. Oh, she she did run, <laughs> but she she was having a hard time getting out of the country because men ruled the country and they I didn't know. take the opinion of a woman, so she struggled. Oh, without my daughter, man, it's a good movie. Check it out. Yeah, check it yeah. out. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see it though. They oh, be sure. really trying. They be trying to blend their families too, and then for the, some of them, they be um, parents be trying to do arranged marriages, and they be trying to like break, like. American women be expecting to get married and then you and your husband, y'all live alone. 
and like move on with the rest of your lives. But in most of these other countries, mm -hmm. they got to live with their family. They, yeah. they have to live with their parents, siblings and their wives and children and just everybody be together. And it just be interesting to see how some of them, I mean, some of them be for the most part making it work. And the ones that be going to the third world countries oh and God. they don't got hot water Ooh, and they be living in shacks and stuff like that. I don't know how they doing it. So, so you go living in the house to find this 90 day fiance and you get over. Now you in the shack. You got shit outside. Yes. You got to take a shower when it rains. Yes. Or jump in this pool. Oh, yes. hell to the they be up. meeting these people on the internet they be dating on the internet for however much time or sometimes they like go on vacation like say I just go on vacation in the Dominican Republic and I just meet a guy that works at the resort and we fall in love and then now I'm trying to bring him to the United States or I move over there and then they once you once they come then they get 90 days till they got to get married how many black women and black men be on the show it'd be a lot It'd be, it'd be every race, every race, God, and it'd be a nice shit. population of black people, yep, on the show. It'd be Jamaicans From season to season. It'd be Jamaicans and Africans. It'd be Jamaicans, mm -hmm, it'd yeah. be Africans, it'd be regular black people what? that are Americans. Yeah, I gotta watch Some show. of them, they be having good professions and everything. And they go go live One in of the next upcoming hut. seasons is a black girl on there, and I think she a doctor. And oh. she married a nigga in a hut. She and with him from some other country. <laughs> Man, Shit, some of them be in other countries and they in well-developed countries and you know they be living in europe or you know something like that like russia it'd be seeming like the cities and stuff is well built up but some of them they be dealing with people from like africa and you know like these little islands these small islands and they don't be making a lot of wages and they be struggling and they be going over there and yeah sometimes right. they don't be having hot water they be going in the bathroom to shower and just be a spigot and they just be having to fill buckets up with water and they be having to bathe out the buckets and everything and they'll be having a good electricity connection and stuff it don't be no wi-fi they don't have no luxuries that you would have in america sometimes like they go straight to like savage bitch. living sometimes you gotta get a cute little poor bitch if she do that she better be able to suck a fucking watermelon through a straw I ain't <laughs> uh, she yeah, better be Kiko the... gripping every goddamn day. Ain't that much motherfucker right. in the world? I be watching up nobody fucking bucket. I don't. I'm just speaking. Right, I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't even trying to make a fucking joke. God, I'm no. dead ass. Yeah, but they no. don't be having central Everything. air. Like it should be real. Oh. Be bugs. Like it don't. It be real. It be. That's you gotta watch it. This should be intense. I don't know how they be doing it. Ain't no way. But I said I'm about to find somebody on the show. <laughs> don't do it. At this point, you're gonna be living in. You're gonna be all garbed the fuck up. Calling you know, the US Embassy. No, no, no. You know they <laughs> they could want to come over here. She could just go meet them and they could come back over here. That's that's. Watch that's I'm gonna either do that or love after lockup. I don't know which one I'm gonna. Don't that. do you're that. Tripping. Love you tripping. After Listen, love. niggas are because of some shit. of them women, some of them women, they be dating prisoners and the prisoners be doing so much for them while they still in prison. They be buying them cars, be them the um, Benzes. They be paying their bills and stuff, and they be locked up, and all they gotta do is answer the phone. What's wrong? It's a nigga that live around you. That uh, they they moved they moved to Tampa, didn't they? It was one nigga. No. Oh, that's the new season. Um, the current season, yeah. Live mm. out here in Tampa. Be, every season, the ninety day fiance, um, or love after lockup. It's always somebody from Florida on them shows. Almost every single season. Y'all niggas in Florida, man. Florida's just something you know up. they be bugging. They be something about out. Florida. Y'all ain't got shit to do in Florida. It don't be that right, going on. Wrap it up. I, it, <laughs> nah, we out here. I love y'all. I ain't gonna shit. I ain't gonna shit on Florida, but y'all ain't got shit to do in Florida. I love y'all. I'm in Jersey. Y'all uh, tune good. into the show. Y'all niggas from Florida. Y'all Floridians. Oh shit, Floridians. All right, we out of here, y'all. I love y'all. Peace. Floridians. <laughs> Floridians.